Here I'll show a simulation uh, where I've made a very simple model of a polymer uh, that could be a protein and I'm going to start it off at low temperature and then slowly heat it up. Okay, so you can see at low temperature, this is our thermometer here, at low temperature the polymer doesn't move very much and it's in one conformation, the, the folded conformation. So as we add more and more energy, we increase the temperature, the polymer moves more, and you can see occasionally one of the interactions between the, the beads, between the green spheres, gets broken. Right? And increasingly now, the polymer is spending time in an, in an unfolded conformation, uh, like now, for example. Right? So you can say the the probability of being folded decreases as you increase the temperature, meaning the protein unfolds. So what I want to tell you about now is that this unfolding happens because of the higher entropy of the unfolded state. Uh, so here I have an even simpler model, an even smaller model of a protein. And the equilibrium between the folded and unfolded state uh, is given by the standard free energy difference between the two. And if we approximate the entropy contribution, the standard entropy uh, contribution to the standard free energy change as simply the conformational entropy, then that entropy change is R ln4. Uh, so it is the degeneracy of the folded state and relative to the degeneracy of, of the unfolded state here relative to the degeneracy of the folded state. So here it's four. There are four ways of making an unfolded state. Here there's one way of making a folded state. And so the natural log of one is zero. So that means that this expression here for the fraction uh, a protein that is in the unfolded state can be written like this, where the 4 comes from the degeneracy. And that means that the fraction uh, of proteins, of polymers, in one of these unfolded states, so the fraction in the unfolded macrostate, is just 4 times the probability of being in one of the microstates, for example, this one. And since they have an equal free energy, the probability of being in each one of these is equal. So the, if we multiply the probability of, for example, being in this state by 4, then we get the probability of being in the unfolded macrostate. So here I've plotted for a particular value of delta H, uh, the fraction of polymers in the folded state and the unfolded macrostate and the unfolded microstate, right? And so as you see, this curve here is four times smaller than this curve, right? And as you will see, this curve here never is always less than this curve. So the probability of being in one of these microstates is always smaller than the probability of being in the folded state. Right? It's only because there's four ways of being in this state that the probability of being in the unfolded macrostate at some point, at some temperature, becomes higher than being in the folded state. Okay, So you go from the folded state being most probable to the unfolded state being most probable because there's more ways of making the unfolded state. Right? And this more ways of making the unfolded state means that the unfolded state has a higher entropy. So unfolding at higher temperatures happens because of the entropy. Okay, so here is a question for you. Here are some statements. Here are four statements. Some of these, one or more of these, is not true. 
So, and there can be more than one of these not true. So which ones are not true? Press pause, think about it, and when you think the right, you have the right answer, press play. Ready? Okay, so B and D are not true. Let's take them one at a time. The degeneracy of the unfolded macrostate is four. That's correct, right? There are four ways of being unfolded in this very simple model. The degeneracy of the unfolded microstate is four. And that's incorrect. A microstate, by definition, is has a degeneracy of one. There's one way of making a microstate. Uh, the degeneracy of the folded macrostate is one. That is correct. Uh, so in this case, there's only one way to fold it. So you have the same number of macrostates and microstates. The entropy of the unfolded microstate is bigger than that of the folded. That is incorrect, right? Because you have the microstate here. So the degeneracy of a microstate, by definition, is one. So you have an unfolded microstate that has a degeneracy of one, and in this case, the folded uh, micro or macrostate is one. So the entropy is the same. It is the entropy of the unfolded macrostate that is bigger than the entropy of the folded state.